So turmeric is a spice that makes mustard yellow or Indian curries yellow, right? In that spice, as you just mentioned, is curcumin. Curcumin is an extract from turmeric. Does that make sense? So turmeric is a spice and curcumin is the extract. Curcumin is a very powerful cancer fighter. It works nicely with all types of prostate cancer treatments except for hormonal therapy. It will interact with hormonal therapy and some of the more leading edge therapies Dr. Kernan talked about like Provenge. It will interact with those um, and prevent those from working. So you have to be very careful if you're on hormonal therapy. One second, Mike. I'll come back to you. Um, but if you're not on hormonal therapy, curcumin is an excellent cancer fighter. The problem is it's a root. It's sourced out of India. As my friend here mentioned, what's your name? Mark. Mark. So it's sourced out of India, and they're, when they, they're using a solvent to clean it, and that solvent is remaining on the herb. It's a 1,2-dichloroethane, and it causes cancer. So the government has released a warning letter to the supplement industry asking them to pull it, actually 28 warning letters, and the supplement industry has refused because they make a lot of money off of curcumin. There are two companies, however, that have subjected themselves to government regulation and third-party testing for curcumin, and that's Mariva from Thorn and Curcumin Pro from ITI. Both of those supplements are safe. Curcumin Pro from ITI. That's what you're taking? Yep. And what's your name, sir? Ed. Okay. Yeah. So those two are very safe for you to take and a good idea to take in this time where you're just not sure what's going to happen next. They function as an antineoplastic. They are, you need to take them in a high dose. So four to six grams, which would be four or six very large pills. They have to be taken with food or they make you nauseous. And by food, I mean a fat. They're not absorbed if they're not attached to a fat. Does that make sense? Um, and you should keep them in the refrigerator. But otherwise, they're very, very appropriate for you as a, an adjunctive or a partnership with your uh, active surveillance or your current treatment, as long as it's non-hormonal. Well, turmeric is um, an excellent cancer fighter as well, but it's a spice, and you'd have to eat bags and bags of it to get the therapeutic activity that you want, right? And you're not going to do that. Um, you'd make yourself and everybody around you sick. But if you go to pubmed.gov, P-U-B-M-E-D.gov, this is where the government publishes all clinical data done anywhere in the world at any time about supplements or um, uh, pharmaceutical drugs. This is how your doctors are getting their information. It's how I get my information. Um, it's difficult to read, but you have access to it as a taxpayer. You put in curcumin, let's say, and, and you want to capitalize and, cancer or prostate cancer. And you're going to see that there's 3,288 studies that were done in the last 10 years showing how curcumin is a cancer fighter and why. Um, so it's very important when you, someone tells you to try something to plug it into this and see if it's actually true or not. Mm -hmm.